What's up, mobile gamers? It's John's or Gigs back with another T3 video. Today, we're going to be checking out Diggy. She got some pretty cool changes with the new update, and we just made it into a match. Real players this time, so that's always good. Not very fun playing against bots, but the advanced mode's way too long of a wait, so I've honestly not even been using advanced mode because it just makes it harder to get games. So we'll switch that off and pick Diggy real quick. So really glad to have actual teammates and they're real people this time, don't worry. But Diggy is already one of my favorite heroes to play, especially out of like the flankers. I think she might be my favorite. Uh, even though Johnny Jet kind of always will have a place in my heart, he just he's just bad. Like he just sucks and he doesn't really have too many uses. Um, he's just kind of like a, a character I use when I want to have fun, and he doesn't really have too many uses. So we're actually using a different skin for Diggy. We're not going to use the the Sin City one because I wanted to kind of get a little bit of of both of the skins here. So we're going to try to get this Ruby real quick. She'll probably try and stun us, but we have the Gloria for backup. Alright, yeah, ah, well, okay, we were gonna go help him out, but I don't think we were gonna get there in time. So, Diggy just got a new ability, which is really, really cool. And we'll show it to you guys here in just a second. Oh, uh, we might die to the, to the ruby here, can we use our ability to get out? Yes, we can. Oh, we died, did we die to the sauce? Oh, we're out of our, don't have our shark form anymore. Looks like he did jump away, though, so... Not too terribly worried about the Osas. I think he'll be one of the easier... Oh, well, if I can actually get up the stairs. But her new ability allows her to teleport. I want to say it's like 30 or 35 meters or something like that. Uh, and it's really, really cool. I actually busted her out because I think she's one of the better uh, counters to Ruby. Ruby's been very dominant in the meta. And you kind of need to use... A flank hero to to get around to the sides. All right, we're going to, and it doesn't work like I would like it to. Like I probably would have got away. I wish you could kind of change the trajectory when you first um, like go into the the teleport. She wasted her ult on me, so that's okay. But I wish you could change the trajectory of the teleport when you're in it because it does have its disadvantages. It's really tough to pull off, honestly. Um, you know, if, like, I hit this and I can hit the ability and turn around, and I still go to the same place. So, I'm not really sure. I do like it. I just wish it had a bit more usability, because it's not as good as I think it could be. So, we'll grab the kill on the, the glory here. I thought the ruby was going to jump up here. I'd imagine she, yep, she is, yep. So, kind of trying to be pretty passive with it when we're fighting the Ruby, just because the Osas can get me if I stay still too long. I actually don't know where he went. Oh, there's a glory here real quick. Grab a kill on the... Ooh, I think I heard the Ruby behind us here. Nope, it was the Osas. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Talk about a free kill. He got he got to just kill me while I stood there. And it actually looks like he's doing majority of their damage, so we're actually probably going to switch around and try to get the Osas here. I was gonna target the Ruby, but I think the Osas is a little bit more of a threat. Looks like nope, we'll just get the Gloria real quick since she's standing still. And then, there we go, Mr. Osas. And it's really difficult for Osas to get me in my shark form. And that was probably, he just wasted his ult there big time. So, we'll go help out the, the Gloria against the Ruby here. It seems like I always miss my first few shots when starting an engagement. So, we'll grab the health. And then go, and oh, she jumped up. 
That is one thing is I don't think her ability is necessarily the greatest because you can go pretty far with it. Oh, that's weird. It wasn't working. So I don't know if it's bugged because it seems like a lot of the time I'll hit the button and it just will, it'll like, she'll like do almost like a, a shrug or like if you were going to pump fake the ability, that's kind of what it does, which is kind of weird. But you should be able to go pretty far with it. Yeah, it's not letting me... There we go. Alright, perfect. Switched over to Shell, which I enjoy. I think Shell's going to be a lot easier for us to deal with. And you can get killed. Let me see if I can... Nope, okay. So she didn't kill me in it. But you can see that you can get damage still while you're, you're um, teleporting. So to speak, Double don't know what kill. the Sinji's doing, but I don't like her her first ultimate very much. Victory. I will say that much. I think her second ult is way stronger, and once she gets her second ult, she'll be a beast in control and in payload escort because it does exactly what she's missing as a way to stay on the point and defend it from the enemy. So I think Diggy's really really good now. And we're actually going to switch over to her other skin. Because honestly, I can't decide which skin I like more. So we're just going to play them both. Dickie's always been fun for me. I think she's a really good flanker. And like I said, she's probably my favorite. If you look at the flankers here, Shell's definitely close. I think if Shell didn't receive so much nerfs um, in this patch, if she didn't receive as many nerfs as she did, I think Shell would be my favorite. But right now... I think Diggy's kind of got that spot. Johnny's the most fun if you're just trying to mess with the enemy. It's so fun to just jump around and throw his little orb out. He's definitely an annoying hero to play against, even though he sucks. Like, if he had a buff, he'd be really good, and he'd be you'd see him a lot more, especially in control and payload escort, because those modes couldn't use a Johnny. He's just not as strong as he used to be, and it kind of sucks. So, Diggy's got the top spot for, for flankers, in my opinion. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Maybe even um, rank the flankers in the comments, because I think Diggy's probably most people's favorite, except for Shell. Um, some people might still like Aletta, but I think after her nerf, she's really not very good, especially compared to somebody like Diggy. I just don't think she, she doesn't dish out enough damage, and... And for me, I would rather do damage as a flanker and maybe get a few kills instead of just, like, annoying the enemy and peppering them and stuff like that. And that's why I don't think Johnny's any good either is because he can't do either one. Like, he can't ki get kills very easily. And he also is not annoying enough because he's very easy to track. So you can actually go up height. If you saw there, I just basically went up the stairs. I don't know if the Osauce is actually going to see us coming. Nope, he he just he just sat there. Um, I will say I think this Johnny's gonna be a pretty good counter to um Oh, nice job, Judix. But I think Johnny's gonna be a pretty good counter to Diggy, just because she only has two shots, right? And even if you use one and then the other, it's just not a worthwhile way to to track Johnny, I don't think. Grab a kill on the Osas. Oh, I did not see the... Is that a mark? Interesting. Oh, and they're... Okay, they're flanking me and I don't have my shark form here. Oh, wow. I was surprised that actually had the... Um, the, uh, what do you call it? The AOV to get me. I didn't think he was going to do damage to me. That's surprising. I'll definitely have to look into the Mark's, Mark's little missile there because it did a lot more damage than I thought it would. And this team's playing very non-aggressively and, and passively, so we're going to go ahead and... Oh wow, he actually... <laughs> I don't know what he was thinking. Maybe if he would have went the other way, he could have got away. Maybe that was what his, his strategy was here. 
but her ability is really good for traversing the area and honestly gives her that that much needed um, escape because you don't necessarily need it for an escape but you can use it that way and I think yeah we don't have enough health to take on this show so we'll regroup and go help out ooh oh wait that's our that's their team okay they do have a ruby I thought we had the ruby but my teammates have not changed over, so that is unfortunate. Okay, I have a feeling of we're going to get flanked. Yep, I saw the shell coming. Perfect, and she took the health from her teammate. Awesome. So that was pretty much exactly the only thing that we could have hoped for. And the shell can't follow us. So that was awesome. She literally took her, her teammate's heal and screwed her over. I think the ruby would have got us if she would have been able to heal. But... Shell is going to... What is that? Okay, I thought it might, I thought they might have switched back to Johnny, so... Figured I might as well just shoot the ground a little bit. Because who doesn't like shooting the ground? So... See if we can't help out the, the ruby here. We got the fire of judgment. Yeah, unfortunately they just had all three of them are staying together. But Diggy is really good at breaking up team formations. We'll hopefully show you guys here in just a second. Alright, perfect. Sorry, yep, we're going to grab the Gloria here. And now they have no backline. Unfortunately, they're killing my teammates too fast for me to actually do anything. So we're just going to regroup here. And they're act I cannot believe they're, they're spawn camping us. This is crazy. Oh yeah, well, so our team's definitely going to lose. But, Diggy is a master of escape now. I think she's a lot better than she used to be at escaping. Oh, I tried to hit the, hit the thing there. I messed up. So hopefully we can stick around our teammates a little bit more, but they just have not been... Yeah, I think... If they were a little bit better, and see there you can counter Skatey. So before, right, we're gonna die here, but um, Diggy like couldn't get away. Once she gets hit with a net, she's basically powerless. And that was the best way to stop a Diggy. And now she can actually counter Skatey's little thing. Cause if she nets you and then you just teleport away, right? You can pretty much get away wherever you want to. And the teleport, like I said, actually can reach different heights. So you can go upwards. And my favorite one to do is like crossing bridges. So if you guys don't know, uh, Giga Cave Mine, I think it is, with the payload escort map, you can actually like jump across those bridges and those Osauces and Gatlins, you can actually jump across there and get to them and do tons of damage and usually get a kill. I think that's my favorite way of opening a ranked match is going through Giga Cave and if you're attacking you literally you just wait for the door to open, teleport, and then you're right on top of that perch that Osauces and Gatlins like to sit on and you can pretty much kill them without them being able to do anything to stop you and I find that that actually gives you just enough time to push the payload a little further because their back line is now gone. So a little bit of advice for you guys, but I think Diggy is really fun now. Her new ability is super crazy and she's definitely now my favorite flanker because she's always got cool skins and now she has a little bit of mobility to, you know, close that gap and not be so useless because before all you had to do was wait for her to go into shark mode hit her for a headshot because shark mode gives you headshot damage for some reason and she gets like two shot and she was very difficult to play unless it was a close quarters map so i'm really glad they gave her this ability let me know what you guys think and uh if you guys got like a flanker tier list or something like that definitely put it down in the comments below because i love building this community with you guys so that's the video hope you guys enjoy have a good one